The Luis Aquino Podcast, Episode 3. Hello, and welcome to the Luis Aquino Podcast. My name is Luis Aquino. I'm a trumpet player from Puerto Rico, and I am one of the most recorded trumpet players in Latin America. I proudly say so because I've been lucky and blessed enough. Um, I want to talk to you shortly on this episode about how to play smaller equipment, smaller mouthpieces. Um, I have thin lips, and uh, at some point in earlier in my career, I have been playing the trumpet for 40 years now, and the biggest mouthpiece... I've been able to um, to play has been a Bach 3C or a Schilke 14B. And uh, since I am specialized in, in more than anything in Latin music, salsa and merengue, as you know, uh, we need to, to produce a pretty bright sound playing those styles. Of course, to have a big core in the sound is, is best. But Uh, just in case you come from, from a bigger mouthpiece and you're trying out a smaller mouthpiece and you're bottoming out, um, I have a couple of suggestions for you just in case you're... Um, nobody has explained this to you. I'm sure many people are hip to this, but um, the short of it is try not... If this is the lower lip and this is the upper lip, try to not put too much upper lip inside of the mouthpiece. If you do that, this will happen. See, I put way too much upper lip. But if I go back and try to, um, and actually achieve, put um, more um, support here on the lower lip and keep the aperture open without closing at all. Because it, it, if you close it, it's a wind instrument. Of course, if you close the aperture, no air is going to come through. So... Uh, my suggestion, my, now I'm going to try with uh, better support here and keeping the aperture open. <coughs> See, it's a lot easier. The note comes out and, and you don't bottom out. So um, in general, when you are coming from bigger equipment towards smaller equipment, try not to go in the mouthpiece. Just stay like, okay, I'm here. No, I'm, not, I'm not going to swim inside of the mouthpiece. Those are concepts that are going to save you and help you a lot. And let's see what else. Um, I'm not going to talk about air here, but of course, air-wise, it would help you. If you come from a bigger mouthpiece and, and you're used, um, you, you're a legit player, and you're used to the bomb, bomb, bomb kind of air, to play these notes with smaller equipment, It's uh, a lot more efficient to sh think of your air as, uh, as instead of home, oh, think of psh. If you are listening to this, uh, the audio, you're not watching this on video. Um, I'm, I'm, when, you, when, I, when I say boom, 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 I'm, I'm kind of making a, a gesture like if I had a beach ball in my hands, between my hands. Uh, and when you hear this sound, psh, it's like like a hose kind of a thing you're putting your your thumb to make sure that the air that the water in that case goes farther but it's actually less water so that's kind of the concept that's the concept um, with air for high notes especially with smaller equipment uh, of course there are many other aspects that we could talk about but I don't want to make this episode too long. I wanted to make it as short as possible and give you a little bit of um, some data that you can use. So um, just in case you, you are coming from the legit world or are just trying smaller equipment and are having problems bottoming up. I hope this is helpful for you and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.